Hi guys, it's me Pooh Bear 253 here with Peanut. And I made a video earlier, but it didn't upload and I didn't feel like trying to upload it again. So I'm just making another video and I'm going to be chiming in, kind of doing like a response video to uh Yvonne's video. I love my sweet pea uh 79 um first of all we had our first uh reborn mommy and daddy but it was just all mommies um google plus hangout and um it was a lot of fun um uh miss charla was there um mandy conroe and Leanne and some numbers um and another lady came on for a minute but she said her computer died I don't remember who that was and um yeah I'm just really happy that I got everything done that I needed to get done before school starts uh, my hubby's truck is fixed and my car is fixed I just we just came back from picking up his truck and I'm home and he's going to go and pick up um uh, light for my car because one of my headlights went out uh, I took my cat to the vet um, I got my insurance stuff taken care of and things of that nature and basically you know everything is just ready to go until you know everything is just pretty much done and I could just go to work and focus on just going to work and whatnot and uh yeah so i wanted to chime in on what uh yvonne was talking about with as far as not only having your spouses or your husband or wife's um like support you in like your reborn hobby but like what makes some men more accepting than others and I believe it's just, you know, everybody's different, really. It would mean the world to me if my husband came home one day and was like, hey, I saw this outfit in Walmart while I was there and I just thought it would look so cute on Emily, so I bought it for you. That would just really make my day. But I know my husband and I know he probably would never do that. Because that's just not him. That's just not what he does. And it's just so nice how some reborn moms in the community, their husbands are very supportive. They role play with them if they want. I wanted Cedric to hold Yuri and Walma for a second. And I was like, hold her while I look through these. And he was like, I don't hold dolls out in public. So, like, he would hold them in the house. If I gave one to him, he just kind of let it let one of them sit on his lap while he plays on the computer but in public it's like oh no I don't want my man card taken you know type of thing so and I think it's just a guy thing I mean it's nothing against us and it's not that our husbands don't love us as much as other people's husbands it's just that everybody's different and that's how I kind of feel about it I just wanted to kind of chime in real quick before I go take my shower and basically just relax a little bit um just a little bit more <sighs> until tomorrow morning it's like you guys won't see me in the morning like I won't be just making videos and things like that because I'm gonna be at work and it's gonna be kind of sad <laughs> but like I say it's life you have to work you have to do these things to pay bills if I didn't work I wouldn't be able to enjoy this wonderful hobby as much as I do because I wouldn't be able to buy anything because I wouldn't have any money so so I have to go to work so I don't mind or whatever it's just it's going to be a new environment a new school a new principal I can't even remember the principal's name I keep forgetting her name but I'm sure I'll remember it at some point but yeah, but as far as that, it's just some people just got luckier. I mean, I mean, not this. Okay, I'm not going to say that. Because I'm very lucky to have my husband. He's very supportive, very, very loving. And I wouldn't trade him for the world. It's just that, you know, he's like a manly man, you know, type of thing. 
and he would like think his man call would be in jeopardy if he held one of my reborns out in public so Yvonne we're both in like the same boat like like I say my husband cheers me on too if ever I want to do anything like he loves my Londi blossoms and the fact that I make them and he always raves about them and things like that but it's just I think it's just the dolls it's just not a man's cup of tea type of thing they just don't do the dolls so well at least my husband doesn't anyway like some husbands may but my husband does not do the whole doll thing that's just not his thing so I guess that's just basically all I wanted to say um, like I say it's kind of, it, it just would it would like mean the world to me if my mom or somebody that I loved bought something for my babies but just simply because they know how much I love them you know I just think that that would be awesome but I don't have anybody that has ever bought anything for my babies like in my family my husband's never bought anything for them or you know or things like that he'll jokingly like take their pacifiers and things like that that's about as as much as it's gonna get with him really really and truly that's about it um, but as far as like holding them in public it's just not gonna happen and it just I just think he's just really uncomfortable with the ideas like men don't play with dolls type of thing and I think he's just kinda stuck on that like he can't do that in public or people will think something's wrong with him I guess he figured a woman can get away with it but I think he figures he can't get away with that so so yeah I just wanted to just kinda put my two cent in on that and uh, that's really it I'm gonna hop in the shower now so when hubby gets home he can hop in the shower and we're just going to relax for the rest of the day, basically. And I'm going to be waking up in the morning. I'm probably going to try and go to bed like at 8.30. Um, because it's just so very hard getting up in the morning. So, yeah. So very hard getting up in the morning. Especially when you've been used to sleeping any time of the day. So, I will talk to you guys later. You guys may see me. I can't really promise when you guys are going to see me. I'm going to miss you guys. I hope you guys miss me. But I've had a really nice summer. This summer was better than last summer because I didn't have any money last summer. And it was like pinching penny. So, this summer... I like saved my money and everything and everything was awesome. So everything's awesome, 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 cool beans, all that jazz -a row jazz a jigger and such. I have to go to the bank uh, to set up my my direct deposit things again. My like money going for summer so I can stay off again next summer. So I have to take so much money, put an account in blase blase. But it worked out really well this summer. I had enough money to pay all the bills and it was totally awesome. So that's it. I'm rambling. I'm trying to think, was there anything else I want to tell you guys? Uh yeah. Everybody that ordered Londy Blossoms, they should be at your house tomorrow. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. That's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>